Hello, this is Mr. Miller, and it's time for another pre-calculus video. This is video 5.3, part 3. We're going to use intercept form to write equations for parabolas. Let's do this. So, uh, here's intercept form right here. Uh, P and Q stand for the intercepts of the parabola. And we also have this number A in front, which controls whether it opens up or down and how stretched out it is. All right, so given the intercepts of a parabola and one other point, we can find P, Q, and A and write the equation. All right, so we're gonna write an equation for this parabola. It has two lovely intercepts right here. It has intercepts at X equals three and X equals nine. So we can put those in for P and Q. So let's write the equation we have so far y equals a x minus 3. I'm going to put 3 in for p. That's the first intercept. Times x minus 9. That's the second intercept. All right. We know this works because if we put x equals 3 in, 3 minus 3 would be 0 and the whole thing would be 0. If we put 9 in for x, the second factor would be 0 and the whole equation would be equal 0. All right. So the only thing we have left is to find the value of a and we're going to use a trick we've used many different times we're going to take a point from the parabola it could be the vertex but it could be any other point and use it to find the value of a so let's use the vertex here that's a nice point for us that's six negative three so we're going to use six negative three which means we're going to put six in for x negative 3 for y and solve what we get for a okay so negative 3 for y so it'd be negative 3 equals a we're going to put 6 in for x so 6 minus 3 6 minus 9. okay the first step is to simplify all of this this is 3 times negative 3 all together that's negative 9. So we get negative 3 equals, I'm going to put the negative 9 in front, negative 9a. So all of this was negative 9. Okay, uh, now we just divide. We're going to divide both sides by negative 9, and we get a equals negative 3 over negative 9, which is actually positive 1 third. So now we take our value of a, and we put it back into our equation. So when we do that, we're going to get y equals one third x minus three times x minus nine. That's our equation. Okay, a little messy. Let me try again. So here's another parabola. We're going to use uh, intercept form again because we know the intercepts. If we didn't know the intercepts, we wouldn't use this form. Okay, so we have intercepts at negative 2 and positive 1. So first step is write what we have so far. We have a x minus a negative 2. The first 0 or first uh, x-intercept is negative 2. And then we have x minus 1. Instead of minus a negative 2, we're going to write that as plus 2. A x plus 2 times x minus 1. We don't know the vertex this time, but we do know this point. We know the y-intercept 0, 4. So we're going to use 0, 4. So 0 is going to go in for x, 4 for y. Let's see what we get. We get 4 equals a. 0 plus 2, 0 minus 1. Okay, so 4 equals a times, this would be 2 times negative 1, which is negative 2. So times negative 2. Divide both sides by negative 2. And we have negative 2 equals a. Okay, so put it into the, the equation. We have y equals negative 2, that's equal to a, times x plus 2 times x minus 1. 
Okay. There we go. Once you get the hang of it and do one or two of them, no problem. We actually don't need the uh, graph. All we need is the information, the intercepts and a point. So we want to use the intercept form to write equations for a parabola that has intercepts at negative three and four. Okay, so uh, let's start with intercept form. A x minus p times x minus q. So this is going to be a x minus a negative 3. I'm going to write as x plus 3 and x minus 4. Okay, let's use the point x and y. So negative 24 goes in for y and 0 for x. And we get negative 24 equals a times, that would be negative 12. And if we divide by negative 12, we get a equals 2. So let's write it. So we're going to go back, put 2 in right there. So we have y equals 2, x plus 3, x minus 4. All right, I feel you understand it already, but one last example here. Okay, so intercepts at negative 2, 0, and 6, 0, and vertex negative 2, 48. So that's the point we're going to use. Okay, so y equals a, x minus a negative 10, and x minus 6. Okay, let's put in the point, 48 equals a, uh, negative 2 plus 10, negative 2 minus 6, hmm, that's negative 8, no, it's positive 8 times negative 8, that's negative 64, so we have a times negative 64, so if I divide both by negative 64, okay, I'm going to get something not very nice, uh, uh, here, I think you get Three, negative three fourths if you use a calculator or negative 0.75 okay well a can be a fraction that happens so whatever it is that's what we put into the equation right there so we got y equals negative three fourths x plus 10 x minus 6 there's intercept form for that parabola Okay, uh, that's all there is to it. So go ahead and give it a try. You should be ready to do lesson 5.3 part 3. And as always, let me know if you get stuck and need a little help. Take care.